Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Groovy Vibes all the way. So, a lot of you have been asking, what do I use to film? Well, I'm going to be showing you everything I use, alright? We're going to make this short and simple, so you guys know what's haps, alright? So, first things first, let's get into it, is my phone. Okay, so obviously I don't film everything on my phone, but like when I need to, it's there. Especially with this new iPhone 13 Pro Max camera. I mean, look at that. Look how much it sticks out. This is where it's at for sure. And while I'm showing you the rest of the stuff, this is actually what I'm going to be filming on. But for now, we got the camera. So yeah, this is where it's at, I'm telling you. I'm learning so much about this. I mean, as cinematic, obviously video, and then the photos, all the thumbnails. This is what it's taken on, you know, just real fast. I don't want to take the camera down, take a selfie, you know, like that. Right here, like that. We just take a selfie just like hey what's up yo <laughs> yeah, yeah you know it's so simple you got portrait mode i love portrait mode like high quality to the max seriously wow i gotta get a case for it i really do i got a screen protector but not a case what's going on seriously but anyways so yeah iphone 13 pro max next what do i use is this now this right here is a SD card reader. So, of course, I edit everything on here. Everything, okay? I know I just got a computer, but hey, I'm still learning on how to use it. So hopefully soon I'll start editing everything on there. So what I use with this is I take the SD card, place it in this thin slot right here, and then take the, let's see here, right there. Just plug it in, just like that. And then all the videos I just filmed will start appearing. I have to download it into iMovie, edit everything, download it onto my phone, and then upload it to YouTube. And see, that was my problem with my last phone, the, uh, what was it, the 11, the 11 Pro Max, is it didn't have enough space. And this one right here has like 500 something. All right, so that, storage is so perfect like seriously guys like it's such a big difference i'd be sitting here hours after hours like i don't know to like four in the morning trying to get these videos out to like the downtown la ones oh my gosh those were like 30 to 40 minutes long and i would just have to sit here trying to cut it down so it would download onto my phone that was the problem is downloading seriously like think about that you have to download that whole video onto your phone and then re-upload it to YouTube. Like seriously, it's such a massive drag. But now no problems. As soon as I'm done editing, boom, onto my phone and then upload it to YouTube. But once we get the computer all started, uh, of course we won't have that trouble as well because that's one terabyte, so <laughs> that's even better. But like I said, I still gotta learn what to do and how to use it. Okay, so now I'm gonna be showing you what what this is right here, what I'm seeing. You guys aren't seeing this, but what I see always, all right? You might see something in my glasses, which is really irritating me. That's the light, okay? So let's get to that. I'm gonna be switching onto my iPhone now, so get ready for this quality right here. All right, let's do this, uh, yeah. Okay, we are now on the iPhone, so check this out. This is my little tripod. This thing is so groovy as well. Like, I used to have this bulky, what was it, gr Gorilla, Gorilla, gr Gorilla, Benny grip thing, I think that's what it's called, where it like bends and then it breaks, and then, but this one doesn't, look, like, extends. Look at that, hold on, one hand. Let's figure this out. Ah, come on, come on. But there we go, look at that. Look how it just extends like that and lifts it up. Oof. Wow. And this is called the Cubo 3000. No, I don't know what it's called, but it's called Cubo something. Anyways, I made a video about it. Go check it out. Did a unboxing, but yeah, still use it, this thing. Thumbs it up right there, all right? Big difference in video quality. And look at that. Hold it and vlog it. Yeah. 
Okay, the next thing is the mic, which is super important. You gotta have the right mic. And I've been through so many different mics that it's not even funny. Like seriously, they break always. Like this part especially. See this right here, the little holder that slides in to the camera? That thing always breaks. The tightener always breaks. This always breaks. See this little latch right here? Well, I had one before where it said on and off, and each time I had to switch it on, right, to film. Sometimes I forget, and you're just hearing nothing, like seriously. But this one right here, this one has lasted me for quite a while now, I think a year. And uh, look at that. I don't even know what this is, but it's been through a lot, and it's still going now, it's still going. I mean, seriously, like, it's been through uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what actually happened to this, but I fixed it. So here we go. The next thing, of course, is the camera I use. And this is the Canon M50. See this right here? So this would, of course, attach inside. Just like, hold on, where's it at? Where's that? Let's look. Yeah, just like that, slide it in and then roll it down. Well, before, it, this became really loose and I had to tighten this down, right? So I had to pull this apart and then refix this because the mic just kept like wobbling and you heard that, you heard everything. If you watch the uh, old videos, yeah. But anyways, so this is the Canon M50 and I gotta say, this is one of my favorite cameras I've owned so far, like top of the line exclusive, especially before, like I gotta say the autofocus makes a huge difference. Seriously, like I remember like back then, people would try to be filming me, right? And uh, the situation is, is that like, it wouldn't be focused on me, it would be focused in the background. Then we would have to stop everything and then redo it, redo it, just takes so long. But this one right here, just totally just focuses right on you. Oh, yeah, that's a little part right here. When I first got this, I was like, oh my gosh, why isn't it turning on? But the autofocus, seriously, like boom, right there. Focused, high quality, all the way. There's the light, we'll show you that after. You know, it's just a really simple, easy camera to use. And it's really small too, so it's not that heavy. And check this out, this is the best right here right there check it out we are filming what's up guys yo ah. <laughs> i should film it actually you know i'll put this in the video like yo whoa what's happening? we back on here oh what like and subscribe let's get it ah yeah <laughs> Did you see how like it focused on me that quick? Like seriously, the camera I used before was the Canon T3, T3i, I think. And it was so bulky and huge. Like I think it was just for photography, but like, of course it had video on it and that's what I had to use. But it would take forever. I would have to sit here and focus it on me. Like, oh my gosh, really? Uh, just take an hour just to film this. Come on now, we don't want that. We just gotta get this through and provide it for you. Ah. I mean, look at this. Look how much I used. Like, the grip on this is just falling apart. That's how much I used this camera. So I totally got my money's worth. At the time when this came out, I think I got around 2019. Uh, this cost me $600. Um, it came with all everything. Go watch that video if you guys want to. It's throwback massively. But uh, yeah, look at that. Look at the grip. Really, really used it a lot. Very groovy camera right here. Okay, now we'll move into really pretty much the most important thing of all is lighting. So let's get that going. Okay, everyone, so here is my light. So check this out. This thing really makes a difference in video quality. Okay, you gotta have the perfect light right here to film the totally groovy vlogs right here. If you don't have good lighting, the video is trash. Remember that, lighting, number one. 
and then content. <laughs> also, I got this for a gift. Um, I think it was last Christmas, actually. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. And uh, yeah, the camera lens just slips right through here. Got to have the tripod to lift it up. I extend it. Right. Uh, one hand again. Hold on, guys. One hand. Oh, come on. There we go. And put it right here. Camera sits on there. Lens comes out. And that's how we film. So, yeah. That's pretty much everything. So, that's the setup. See how everything is? The camera lens comes right through the hole. And, uh, yeah. Let's switch back. So, here we go. Here we go, everyone. We are going. Ah, we are back on the main camera. The Canon M50. Yo. Actually, I found out that they have a new Canon M2, Canon M52. So, uh, not right now, but maybe in the future I might invest in that because, of course, I just bought this and the laptop, the MacBook Pro. So, uh, the funds are a little low right now. So, <laughs> let's just wait, especially. It's Christmas time right now. Christmas Eve is when you're watching this. <laughs> so Merry Christmas, of course. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so that is what I've used. Time to go edit this on iMovie right here. Slip the SD card, boom, right there. Let's get it, okay? So, all right. Let me know if you guys dig this. Just wanted to get this out of the way for you guys to know what I use. So YouTube, yeah, dig it. All right, everyone. Like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laters. Canon all the way. Neat vlog. Out.